What's up Misfits, Maverick here, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a beginner guide to combat in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. These are five tips that I wish I knew before I started pillaging my way through England. Well, let's jump into it. First up, let's talk about your weapon setup. In Valhalla, you have a couple of options. You can have two one-handed melee weapons, a one-handed melee weapon and a shield, and a two-handed weapon. Here are my thoughts on each. First, the dual wielding option. This is, I'd say, my second favorite weapon orientation. It's aggressive and quick. I like to use two axes. Sure, your heavy attack isn't as vicious, but I found because of the number of enemies you fight at one time, you'll predominantly be using your light melee attack anyways. You can't go wrong with a dual wield option. Next up is my recommendation for any new players. It's the one-handed weapon with a shield. I prefer the kite shield. It's a little bit larger and it packs more punch when you use your heavy attack. This option gives you the most flexibility in a fight, especially if you end up fighting enemies a bit above your power level. You can equip the shield to your primary hand for a more defensive orientation, which I'm not a big fan of, or equip it to your secondary hand. The last option and the one that I dislike the most is the dual wield weapon. It's just slow, like really slow. It's not great when you're fighting a boss or a zealot because of how slow you are. And I'd say just avoid the two-handed weapon unless you know that's the type of Assassin's Creed experience you're looking for. The second piece of valuable information for newer players in combat is the attack indicator your enemies get. Occasionally, you'll see your enemy momentarily glow red. This is an indication they're about to throw a perilous attack your way. You can't parry or block a perilous attack. Dodge or die. Just remember, red means dead. You'll also occasionally see a yellowish glow before your opponent attacks. These are their light melee attacks. And if you parry them at the right time, you'll give their stamina bar a pretty big hit. This leads us into tip number three. Pay attention to stamina bar. Normally, you'd think that the health bar should be the indicator you pay attention to the most in a fight. But in Valhalla, you'd be wrong. Stamina makes all the difference. A successful light melee attack helps fill your stamina bar, while a heavy attack or a dodge drains it quickly. You need to be thoughtful about how much stamina you consume in a fight. Don't throw heavy shots at the bowmen for the memes only to find yourself drained when Glue Glog the Giant Eater drags his broadsword over. You'll also want to pay attention to your enemy's stamina bar, the second bar above their head. If your enemy's stamina bar is getting low and you parry their next attack, you can find yourself with a stunned opponent that's one button press away from meeting their gods. Target enemies with lower stamina bars to clean up the hordes quicker. And Valhalla isn't shy about throwing enemies at you. Each raid, the bodies seem to pile up higher and higher. Tip number four is to use ranged combat to thin the herd before you rush into an enemy fortress. I went with a ranged build for my Viking and can easily headshot enemy bowmen or pick off the lone wandering guard. Targeting the bowmen can make a big difference. It seems like the AI likes to hit you with a bow shot right before you parry an attack, so you get a mouthful of steel rather than that sick Instagram clip. The last beginner combat tip for you involves enemy weak points. If you're fighting an enemy you shouldn't be, or you built your Viking in the image of Legolas like me, you can break your bow out mid-fight to slow your enemy down. When you aim at them, you'll see a glowing gold part on their body. It could be a foot, shoulder, leg, whatever. These are the enemy's weak points that can cause your enemy to be stunned if you land a shot on it. Here's an example in a boss fight that kept this big guy at bay. There you have it guys, that's five beginner combat tips I wish I knew before jumping into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If this was your first time stopping by the channel, I want to say thank you for coming by. We've got more tips, guides, and strategy videos on the way, so consider subscribing if you like to see that type of content. If you enjoyed the video, help me out by clicking that thumbs up button, and to all my misfits out there, take care.